Hi everyone, I'm Manjin and I'm an AI Frameworks engineer at Intel. In this session, I will talk about scaling inference on CPUs with TorchServe. There are five main topics for today's agenda. First, I will give an overview on TorchServe. Second, on CPU performance tuning principles for getting a strong out-of-box CPU performance. Third, on Intel extension for PyTorch. Fourth, on TorchServe with Intel extension for PyTorch. And finally, we'll conclude with a summary. Let's get started. What is TorchServe? TorchServe is a performant, flexible, and easy to use tool for model serving and scaling PyTorch models in production for infants. Model serving is the process of integrating trained deep learning models into a larger system in production. TorchServe allows users to easily deploy their trained deep learning models. TorchServe provides support for both PyTorch Ever mode models as well as Torch scripted models. TorchServe provides a number of default model handlers for handling the model initialization, pre-process, inference, and post-processing steps for various domains, including image classification, image segmentation, object detection, and text classification. Users can also write their own custom handlers for handling their own custom models. Now, let's discuss on general CPU performance tuning principles to boost out-of-box TorchServe performance. There are two main principles that I will discuss. First, avoiding logical cores for deep learning workloads generally improve performance. The majority of time in deep learning inference or training is spent on millions of repeated operations of GEM, general matrix multiply, and most GEM operators benefit from using non-hyperthreading. Therefore, we generally recommend avoiding logical cores by setting thread affinity to physical cores. Secondly, multi-socket systems have non-uniform memory access, NUMA. If a process is not NUMA aware, slow remote memory is frequently accessed when threads migrate cross socket. We address this problem by setting thread affinity to a specific socket. Knowing these principles in mind, proper CPU runtime configuration can significantly boost out-of-box performance. Before we discuss, let's first note how users can obtain their CPU information. CPU information can be retrieved with lscpu command on Linux. The following is an example of lscpu execution. There are two sockets, and each socket has 20 physical cores. Since hyperthreading is enabled, each core can run two threads. In other words, each socket has another 28 logical cores. Therefore, there are 112 CPU cores on service. The first principle is to avoid logical cores. Gem run a fuse multiply add or dot product execution unit shared by hyperthreading cores. With hyperthreading enabled, OpenMP threads will contend for the same gem execution units. When two logical threads run gem at the same time, they will be sharing the same core resources causing front-end bound such that the overhead from this front-end bound is greater than the gain from running both logical threads at the same time. Instead, if we use one thread per physical core, we avoid this type of contention. Notice on the left, we avoid logical cores by setting the thread affinity to physical cores 0 through 55. Finally, we recommend binding a process to a specific socket to avoid slow remote memory access. Each socket has its own local memory, and sockets are connected to each other, which allows each socket to access the local memory of another socket called remote memory. However, it's better to utilize local memory and to avoid remote memory access, which can be around 2x slower. Notice on the left, we pin threads to physical cores on the first socket, 0 through 27, to maintain the locality of memory access. Let's apply these principles to deploying ResNet50 with TorchServe. On top is out-of-box TorchServe single worker inference without core pinning. When the number of threads is not manually set, PyTorch by default sets the number of threads to the number of physical cores, 56 in this case. We notice one main worker thread is launched, then it launches 56 threads on all cores including logical cores. Furthermore, as we did not pin threads to cores of a specific socket, the operating system periodically schedules threads on cores located on different sockets. Comparing local versus remote memory access over time, we can verify remote memory accesses, which results in suboptimal performance. 
On bottom is the same setting but with core pinning. We observe that one main worker thread is launched, then it launches threads on all physical cores on the first lumen node, 0 through 27. And we can verify that now almost all memory accesses are local accesses. Now we have a look at multi-worker inference. On top is out-of-box torch serve multi-worker inference with four workers without core pinning. We notice each of the four main worker threads launches 56 threads, launching a total of 56 times four threads, which is twice the total number of cores. Therefore, cores are guaranteed to be heavily overlapped with high logical core utilization, multiple workers using multiple cores at the same time. On bottom is the same setting but with core pinning. To avoid core overlap amongst the workers, we can equally distribute the physical cores to workers and bind them to each worker. In this case, bind worker 0 to course 0 through 13, worker 1 to course 14 to 27, and so on. Doing so make each worker use its assigned resources as highly efficiently as possible and minimize resource conflict amongst the workers. We've discussed general principles to CPU configurations. Now I will give an overview on Intel extension for PyTorch. Intel extension for PyTorch is a Python package to extend PyTorch with up-to-date feature optimizations for extra performance boosts on Intel hardware. There are three major optimization techniques of Intel extension for PyTorch. They include operators, graph, and runtime performance optimizations. At the operator level, include vectorization and parallelization to maximize the CPU efficiency, low precision data types including BFlow16 and Inte, data layout optimization for better cache locality. At the graph level, include graph optimization. While PyTorch by default runs in eager mode, Torch scripted models can convert the topology into graph to apply constant floating and operator fusion into the graph for reduced compute and better cache locality. At runtime, Intel extension for PyTorch provides runtime extension to accelerate even further, including fine grained thread affinity control, launcher for automatic setting of the optimal CPU configuration. Eventually, all targeted features and optimizations are targeted to upstream stock PyTorch. Compared to stock PyTorch, Intel extension for PyTorch optimizations are more aggressive at a broader scope. Intel extension for PyTorch provides simple front-end Python APIs for users to easily optimize their model to get performance optimizations. For FP32 and BFlow16, users simply need to import Intel extension for PyTorch package in and apply the ipex.optimize against their model object to apply optimizations to their model. As well as for int8, Intel extension for PyTorch int8 quantization API has the same look and feel as that of PyTorch. Now we will introduce TorchServe with Intel extension for PyTorch. Intel extension for PyTorch has already been integrated into TorchServe to give out-of-box performance boosts with an ease-of-use API. Simply add a few lines and config the property, which is a file that TorchServe uses to store configurations. Set IPEX enable to true to enable Intel extension for PyTorch. Set CPU launcher enable to true to enable launcher. Launcher automates setting the most optimal CPU configuration. User can also specify launcher arguments to CPU launcher args. In this example, we specify node ID 0 to use the physical cores of the first NUMA node, applying the CPU tuning principles that we've discussed. The performance boost of Torch Serve with Intel extension for PyTorch on Resna 50 and BERT. We observe 1.21x throughput speed up for BERT and 2.43x throughput speed up for Resna 50 with FE32 inference, and 2.2x throughput speed up for BERT and 7.71x throughput speed up for Resna 50 with INT8 inference. Now that we've discussed Intel extension for PyTorch with Torch Serve, we'll conclude with a summary. In this session, we have walked through some general CPU performance tuning principles to boost out-of-box CPU performance. We have also introduced Intel extension for PyTorch and its integration into TorchServe with an ease-of-use API showcasing up to 7.71x throughput speed up for ResNet 50 and 2.2x throughput speed up for BART. And finally, please check our GitHub to TorchServe and Intel extension for PyTorch and related blogs that dive deep into today's um, topic.